trend in general, most of the people who use condoms are likely going to be young men. So, but even among young men, you see that there is a significant drop. I think the highest was in 2000, it was like 62% of young men who, were, who engaged in high-risk sex were using condoms. But as much as there is some drop, young people continue to use uh, condoms. And consequently, if you look at the spread of HIV, you'll find that the HIV is lower in young men compared to young women. Because the young men are remembering to use condoms, the young women are engaging in sex with older men. The older men and older women do not like using condoms. So as people grow older, they are less likely going to remember to use a condom. Yet we see a trend that from 2000, an increasing number of men is engaging in extramarital affairs. We see a trend among women from 2000 that an increasing number of women are engaging in extramarital affairs. People are engaging in extramarital affairs would expect condom use also to be going up, but instead it's going down. So it has an implication for HIV prevention, people not to get tired, not to give up using a condom. A condom is one of the best tools we have for controlling HIV.